looks really not too bad. I mean, it's very easy to put on overall. There's slight little adjustments you can do kind of here and there, get the canvas looking, you know, just so and whatnot. Um, but of course, this is just a quick video to show you um, what it's like putting it up and you see some of my uh, little issues that I had and hopefully that helps you out and not having to deal with them. All right, it is time for the Bamimi Top Challenge. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I just made that up. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put, a get, put together the smaller Bamimi Top, the, the, uh, the two bow. And yeah, we're just gonna see how well it puts together, how easy it is, and show you what it's like when it's set up. So let's do this. All right, and before we get started, be sure to subscribe to SK Lifestyle. Yeah, that's right. You just wanna hit that subscribe button right there and the notification bell. <sighs> All right, so right off the bat, the instructions are for the four bow, but I think pretty much everything else should be just about the same, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. And I'll be honest, I'm just uh, figuring this out as I go. The instructions, and there's a couple of pictures and stuff, but they're not too robust. But I think, I think that's pretty much how it goes. And just slide this baby through. Apologies for smacking the camera. Oh, I made it to the other side. There we go. And then you can just feed it around. And then I just gotta do the same for the back piece here. Grab one of these, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Put the other rounded bar on the other side. And there is like a little plastic film all over this stuff, I guess, to protect it, you know, so it looks nice and not getting banged up. I'm not bothering to remove it right now. Come on, come on. Do that locomotion with me. All right. I don't know, so we'll see. So obviously there's the opening here and then you have this, but this is probably where you clip on to the bar, I'm thinking, so I might have to fix the other one. So I think I went through those. That's why I'm here doing this, so you can see my mistakes and my issues and then not have to deal with it. Yeah, SK Lifestyle, subscribe. And it definitely should be right here on the side. You wanna come down these, and these should be for like the little uh, straps or whatever. So let me fix the other side and we can get this thing on. All right, so one of these are for each side. You're gonna want the long bar for the front. So, that on here, definitely a little tight still. And then this one for the back bar. Same for the other side. The top actually has a little label which says front. So that's how you know. So, with these straps, obviously this piece goes on to the uh, D-rings that you have on your boat. This is actually just a loop. So what I'm gonna have to do is unclip this piece right here, slide this in, and then pull it out here so that it's hanging out and this is already connected. So that's obviously something that now you can do and save the time and obviously from here on out, I'll be doing <laughs> the first time around. So I actually do it right here on the camera. So I'm gonna take the loop, put it in around the bar, hold it there, and then take this piece and feed it through all the way up so i'm going to pull this through and now my strap should be able to follow along and there we go now my strap is on there and i got my hook so you just got to do that to all four sides all right so now that i got the poles in i got the straps on Really the only thing left to do is to set it up. And I'm a one man band right now, so we're gonna see if I by myself can get this baby up. And uh, yeah, got a little, get a little shade because the sun's still out, right? All right, let's do this. So most of the boats have rings up here, but obviously this one doesn't because it's a catamaran. So I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna use this one um, and that should be fine. 
I would think. And hey, I didn't claim this would look pretty, did I? Adjust these straps a little. All right. So honestly, not too bad. Once you get one of these up. And of course I can adjust it once, once I get it down. It's just where the positioning of the feet was. So there's one. Now we just need to get this back straps on. Make sure we got the feet where we want them. Probably have it more like that. All right, so how's she look, huh? Got a little shade now. So not too bad, you know, definitely could work out a few little kinks here and there. So it looks like that straps get a little tight. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be on really how you want it to be. I mean, you can see I could tighten up the straps just a little bit there. Um, and obviously yeah, the, the canvas isn't too bad. It's on there pretty matched, but that's the point. I mean, there's going to be little adjustments. So it's really not too bad. I mean, it's very easy to put on overall. There's slight little adjustments you can do kind of here and there. Get the canvas looking, you know, just so and whatnot. Um, but of course, this is just a quick video to show you um, what it's like putting it up. And you see some of my uh, little issues that I had. And hopefully that helps you out and not having to deal with them. The best thing, honestly, is to just put on these uh, curved arches first. Put on your straps. And then go over to the arms and put on the uh, extended arm pieces and then connect those extended arm pieces to the curved bars and then just set it up. And honestly, it was a lot easier to put up with one as one person than I really thought it was. And that was with me just kind of figuring it out the first time. Now that I put it up, I mean, there's no second guessing that a single person could put it up very fast, very quickly. And of course, I'm going to put it down now and show you what it's like uh, with the little cover on when it's kind of laid back. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty cool. And I mean, again, you got, you know, you got a little place for some shade or whatever, uh, you know, when the sun's, you know, giving you problems. So I kind of like that. And the fact that it just folds away in a little bag that you can store with the rest of the boat. It's really not bad at all. I mean, it was what, like 120 bucks with shipping but i think it's kind of worth it and this is the 70 inch one but to be honest it actually i mean obviously the other one was going to be 80 inches so it would come out to like you know to right here you know you might not even notice that much of a difference and for how easy this one is to set up and put together yeah i i, I feel like it was a good choice so let me show you what it's like when it's folded down and all together. And be sure to leave those comments, questions, whatever you have. Be sure to hit that like button. Just smash it real quick for me. And hit that subscribe button as well. SK Lifestyle. All right, putting her down. Shouldn't be too difficult, but hey, you never know. We shall see. We shall see. So I'm going to disconnect the front, obviously, because it needs to lay backwards. I am curious what I'll do with the straps, but we'll kind of see that in a moment. So you can kind of get an idea of how it just straps up like this. I kind of feel like I probably just lay the straps in inwards like this somewhat. And then I'm guessing I'm just going to wrap this around. I will say the canvas isn't too bad. I like this zipper. It's definitely nice and thick. It's not uh, some cheap little like zipper you would have on your jean pants or something. So I'm actually going to unclip these. And 
then more than likely would have it strapped off kind of like right here while not in use and yeah like i said me personally i'm just gonna get some straps some really small ones maybe like one foot size they don't need to be super long just so that i can kind of anchor this bamimi top and really what you could do too when i was saying well here let me show you what it looks like so it doesn't look too bad at all i'll give you the back shot as well so you can see there's definitely plenty of room for the motor and whatnot you should be fine but um like i said you know i'd have like little straps right here and i think what i'd also do is get one strap up for the top so that way when it's bouncing around a little bit yeah it's going to be in place but whoever's sitting down kind of like in this seat or moving around this isn't flopping around and possibly hitting somebody or whatever so you have one nice little strap right here one little strap right there same on either other side and then you know this thing isn't moving at all and then again you can also have your straps kind of tightened up a bit just for uh lack of movement but there you go i mean this thing is this thing is legit so sk lifestyle showing you the bamimi top be sure you're hitting that subscribe button of course there's going to be many other videos on this i'll certainly show this what it looks like when i got the engine on i'm going to be doing reviews on the engine the setup the process the break-in you know speed tests all of that i'm definitely going to be showing what it's like to break this down and put it away in the car what it looks like on the top piece because we have the trunk that goes on top of the car what it looks like when we load most of it up there of course the engine will go in the car um, wrapped up and stuff and yeah there's just going to be a lot to go over and talk about and of course then you also want to see the action shots right we're going to be on the lake with the jet ski yes that's right i have a jet ski check out the channel like i said subscribe you can see all those videos as well and we're going to be towing this thing uh, yes it'll have an engine on it but it's not going to be our primary mode of transportation unlike a lot of people so we're actually going to be towing it around kind of like sailboats do and stuff but it's going to be mainly just to haul our gear and whatnot and be a place for us to hang out when we park the jet ski we'll have a little more uh what do you call it square footage to lay out have a little top over us have the cooler not be kind of jostled around in the water so it should be cool so definitely check out those videos let me know what you think is it a good idea is it something that would work for you have you even thought of this maybe you just want this boat just to use for fishing and stuff that's cool too it looks very good it looks very sturdy that's one thing i can say so I uh, hopefully you appreciate this Bamimi top video. Yeah, say that 20 times fast. And uh, other than that, hit that like button, subscribe. Oh, and check me out on Instagram, s.k underscore lifestyle. That's it. I'll see y'all later.